hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is ivy and i'm a makeup artist and youtuber based in asaba delta state nigeria and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you my best of beauty for the year 2021 yay now if this is a content you would like to see then please keep on watching and while you're at it don't forget to like this video share comment and most importantly very very importantly subscribe to my channel down below by clicking on that red button so that you become a part of our family okay now i upload videos every week so um just sort of throw that out there and i'll see you after the intro um i think i'm going to be pulling out the products based on how i apply my makeup like from the in the order i apply my makeup okay so the very very first thing i do whenever i want to do my makeup is to moisturize and the the my best moisturizer my best in beauty 2021 these are not necessarily products that were released in 2021 they were either products i discovered in 2021 or products i just found myself using in 2021 okay so the very very first product i have is this ole moisturizer right here which looks just like this but it's um it's a normal moisturizer i love it a lot and this one is for the normal slash oily skin for those of you who do not know i have very oily skin so i like to go for products that are suited for my skin type this was my best moisturizer for 2021 mind you the fact that you have oily skin doesn't mean that you, you don't get to moisturize now okay? after moisturizing the next thing i do is to prime my face and my best of beauty primer for 2021 are these two primers right here I have this female stay matte primer which I use as my base primer and I also have this NYX can't stop won't stop primer which I use as my top primer now these two primers are my favorite favorite primers this female stay matte primer is a matte fine primer I have oily skin so like I said I use products that are suited for my skin type and then this NYX can't stop won't stop primer is a very very matte primer it's very similar to the becca ever matte primer and i just use this on my cheek and my chin area and like a bit of my my nose area this area right here 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 and my nose my chin as well because it's really really very good for controlling oil the next products i use after priming are my foundations and for the year 2021 these were my two favorite foundations like they were my go-to foundations and the foundations i had on like any other day you meet me out and about the very first one is the um maybelline super stay full coverage foundation and it looks just like this this is in the shade 362 this is a full coverage found full coverage foundation oil controlling very very good for oily skin it gives a very beautiful finish and i love it to bits and the second foundation was a foundation that zaron zaron is a nigerian brand by the way zaron brought out in i think in 2021 or late 2020 i can't really tell this is zaron i can't really remember sorry this is the zaron brown skin liquid foundation and they said it's a glowy matte medium full coverage foundation i use mine in the shade khaki this foundation matches me to a t i love the finish it's not it's not like a very matte finish but it gives it settles down it settles in and it doesn't move or budge throughout the day so these are my two favorite foundations are uh, my best of beauty foundations for 2021 now when it comes to face powders um this particular powder has been making it into my best of beauty almost every year and it's for a reason the powder is none other than the l'oreal infallible pro matte powder i am in the shade 800 cocoa this is a matte powder it it has an air fine texture it gives um, a matte finish it has um, shine control 
color matches me and suits me to a T. It gives a really, really beautiful finish. And in my video on my top five favorite powders, this powder made it there, as well as this one, also from Zaron. This is the Zaron Brown Skin Powder, and I have this in the shade Brick. It's a full coverage powder, like full, full coverage. And the color looks just like this. Um, I also use another shade called, um, let's see, I have it right here. The shade before this one called Coco. That one also works for me as well. I love, I love this powder to bits. These were like my best of beauty powders for 2021. Now, when it comes to concealer, there were just two I reached for throughout the year. And there are these two. This one is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. It's in the shade Chestnut. This, these concealers are not cheap. Like, they are not cheap. For some reason, I have always loved the Elegate Concealer, but I didn't really reach for it so much last year. It's also another good one. But these ones are the ones I really reached for. The second one is Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer and this is in the shade number 10. It looks just like this. Now these products, like I said, are not cheap at all. They are really expensive, even more expensive than my foundations, but they, are, they give full coverage, they finish, they don't crack, they don't settle into fine lines. The finish of these concealers are really good. The applicator, it has this huge doe foot applicator, really, really easy to apply, really, really easy to blend out, like just it blends out and it blends blends out smoothly it gives this smooth skin filter effect on the skin these were my two best of beauty concealers for 2021 now when it comes to setting powders um i actually had two because these were the two i was reaching out for the most and then somehow towards the latter end of 2021 around november or so and Mira Cosmetics launched and somehow that just made it into this list. So I have three powders I'm going to be talking about today. The first is like my favorite, the Beauty by AD Setting Powder. And I have this in three shades. I have this in, uh, I have it in Lucent, I have it in Amber, and my favorite, which is in the shade Tony. If you know me on this channel, you know my, my love for the Beauty by AD Setting Powders. They set your powders really well. Very good for oil control as well. I have also the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And this is in the shade Translucent. Um, I, for some reason, I actually got the Translucent and Medium Deep. But the Medium Deep, when I use the set underneath my eye, it doesn't give like the highlighting effect I want. It's almost like my skin tone. So I started going for the shade Translucent. Now though, Laura Mercier has honey, but I want to get through with this one first and then try the honey one out and see whether I love it. Really, really very good powder for oil control. Sets your makeup well, like it doesn't budge. It stays put throughout the day. The third powder I have right here is from Mira Cosmetics. This is the Mira Cosmetics loose setting powder in the shade cinnamon now this powder um while i would say it's a good powder it's not necessarily good so um oil control proof like after i set with this powder i always like to go over top that around this area with either the laura Mercier or the beauty by ad setting powder now it sets makeup really well but i discovered that during the day i just tend to get like really oily around the spot and this part of my t-zone but when i set over top this just this area not under my eye or any other place and i really love this cinnamon shade a lot mira cosmetics they did a good product with this the next product we have is our best of beauty for contour now i have two contour powders i have the fenty beauty one and this um, black radiance one unfortunately the fenty beauty one i i have been searching for it i don't know where i kept it i'm just going to leave a picture somewhere here it's in the shade mocha mami and then this black radiance true complexion contour in the shade medium to dark which looks just like this i 
I really really love those powders like these were my most rich for contour powders in 2021 and they delivered like they get the job done especially if you have deeper darker melanin skin tone they are really very good they're good for contouring they're good for bronze and as you can see i've already hit pan on this and just because of this contour shade alone i can get this whole palette like most times you i've already hit pan on this and then you see this other two are still like full but it's what really 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 worth it now when it comes to blush for some reason i just fell in love with blush last year and i went really ham on blushes and then i discovered that i love the quad more than the single ones like it was just easier to use i could mix i could play around with them the first one i have right here is the elf blush quad which looks just like this um, these are the colors it has and this one I have hit pan in like several of them because I was using blush like practically on a daily basis um, they're really highly pigmented blend so smoothly and give a good color play of like you apply and it blends so well you don't look like a clown the second product I really fell in love with last year was the seven cool matte blusher which looks just like this it has six colors in it um this eyeshadow this um, um blush palette is really 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 pigmented and you have to go in very lightly like use a light hand there are days i have used this and <laughs> i had to go back up with like powder and do like serious blending really pigmented but when you blend like it blends smoothly but you have to use a very light hand for this seven coat blusher the next product I have right here is highlighter. For some reason last year, I discovered that the most reached for highlighter I had was this Zaron highlighter, the gold crush highlighter um, or um, bronzer palette. It has three shades. Maybe that is why it was, it was really like I was really reaching for it. And these shades are really suited. It has a muted champagne color it has a gold color a deep gold color and they're really suited for deeper darker skin tone they don't leave like chunks of glitter on the on the high points of the cheekbones they just give like this subtle glow and wash of color which i discovered is like the kind of glow i the kind of trend i really like now so that's what i reached for the most in 2021 when it comes to lipstick I discovered that there were three brands that I reached out for the most last year. Um, Avon True Color Lipsticks, I have about um, four of these. These are the two colors I really, really love. I have one in the shade Tender Kiss. I have the other one in the shade Rose Dew. These lipsticks. Like they give a certain finish they are not matte lipsticks i really love them like for like everyday application like natural neutral or just like mild lipsticks and then i had this um, nuban beauty pro matte liquid lipstick i have it in two shades um i have this one in hush and i have one other one i think i have it right here um it's in the shade orchid which looks just like this these two lipsticks were like hmm, i really used them a lot last year then for zaron i have two liquid lipsticks as well now i have the zaron one i got this um sometime towards the last quarter of 2021 and I and this one is like a nude color I had been using. This is Zaron liquid lipstick in 05 Sandy. It looks just like this. And then I have this Zaron matte lip fix in 02 Baba Boom, which looks just like this. A matte liquid lipsticks, and they don't crack. They don't settle into like the lip. It just blends really well. I love this lipsticks now when it comes to lip liners there are two brands i discovered i was reaching out the most for in 2021 
and they are Zaron and Hega and Esther. Um, I got this Hega and Esther lip definer pencils in about um, four shades and I was always reaching out for those lip liners. They're really creamy, they blend really well. Then these Zaron um, lip liners, the Hega and Esther one, um, like it's really soft, at times it's difficult to work with but this Zaron one is really really nice. I have this one, it looks just like this. I have it in bold, in clay pot, in cappuccino, in stallion, and in one other shade, I think vivid. Like those lip liners, like they could work for any lipstick, both nude, red, like anything. I really, really love them a lot. When it came to liquid liner, I I think I reached out for this the most. And one other one, the Waron Care Eyeline Hair. Um, liquid liner it looks just like this um, it's a felt tip um, liquid liner and I also used this Zara one a lot they are both black liquid liners like really black like charcoal black and I love them a lot this were like my best of beauty, my most used liquid liners for 2021. Now when it comes to eye pencil, the two I used the most were these two. This one is a Marlboro Extremely Soft Eyeliner in Eyeliner Pencil in black. And then this Mira Cosmetics Precise Eyeliner Pencil in Charcoal. These were like my most used. This Mirac one I got towards the latter part of 2021, but it just swiftly became a favorite. But these were like my most, my two most used black pencils for 2021. I rarely use like colored pencils in my waterline. That's something I intend to incorporate into my beauty regime this year. So hopefully by the end of this year, God keeping us alive, when we're doing our best of beauty for 2022, I could have like colored pencils, maybe keeping our fingers crossed. Next up, we have our best of beauty in setting spray. Now, in 2021, these were my two most used setting sprays. I have the Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go setting spray, which looks just like this, and the Kiss Beauty Makeup Fix setting spray, which looks just like this. These are both matte setting sprays and they have shine control properties and they have a lasting, a long lasting hold. Like they keep your makeup on in place. So these are like setting sprays. Like they really set your face after makeup. These were like my best of beauty, my two most used setting sprays for the year 2021. Now, when it comes to brushes, uh, most of the brushes I used were in this brush set by Vika Bell, which looks just like this. The Vika Bell Deluxe 20-piece brush set. It looks just like this. Um, it has 20 brushes in it. I think I'm going to leave a picture of the brushes right here. Eye brushes, face brushes like most of my videos i had those brushes the cabel now now has an eye a solely eye brush set which i got recently um but i still prefer this fish face brush set so among the brushes i got last year i think this was my like my favorite like my most used my best of beauty in terms of brushes that i discovered last year or that i used last year I think that's the right word now when it comes to eyeshadows for some reason last year i discovered i i really i wasn't really adventurous when it came to eyeshadows like i just stuck with the nude colors like just muted colors maybe because i was pregnant for the bulk of the year so i didn't really um i didn't really have the zeal to play with colors. I just wanted something mild, something just muted. And these were the three palettes I reached out for. The first one I have right here is the Juvia's Place, the Warrior by Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette, which looks just like this. 
and these are the shades in it the second one i have is the zaron smooth eyeshadow palette this is more like a smoky eye palette it has like this really gorgeous beautiful shades and then the house of tara eyeshadow cord in set 01 which looks just like this and these were like my three most used palettes the final thing i forgot to talk about was beauty sponges and um i think i have two that were like my most used beauty sponges here's the other one i have this um zaron beauty sponge which looks just like this just a typical zaron one um i had the dabel cosmetics sponge which looks just like this it's a typical beauty sponge and i also have the um the nuban beauty black beauty sponge which i those were like my three most used beauty sponges like i was always having them in rotation and i think that is it for best of beauty oh no i'm forgetting a product um two products mascara and um brow brow gel this was like my most used brow product for 2021 it's called the instant tamer by double cosmetics and it looks just like this i got several several other brow products but i didn't really enjoy them like i did not enjoy them at all and then i discovered this one in 2021 and i loved it it's like just like a clear brow gel and you use it with like a a, a spoolie or a mascara one to set your brows in place and it does a beautiful 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 job now when it comes to mascara my best of beauty has to be this mascara right here and this is the zaron lengthening mascara this mascara is black the wand looks just like this it helps to like separate your lashes gives length to it so even on days when i don't even like most times i don't apply lashes but you could see like my lashes like you could see that there's something there so i think that is about it um if there's, if there's any other thing i'm forgetting i think i'll just add it in the description box down below thank you guys so much for watching um these were like my best of beauty for 2021 i had to like put everything together in a video i didn't want to do them like separate 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 and i had to really task myself to limit them to at least one two or three so that like there are not so many products these were like my most used most loved most rich for products for 2021 thank you once again for watching and i'll see you in my very very next video bye guys